now we move to the conditional um, distribution and density of, for vector of random variables conditional distribution of x given by uh, given event b that if we want we want to condition our random variable then we have the following scenario the cdf conditioned on b we can write the conditional cdf in terms of the pdf and then of course in terms of probability and we know that uh, the conditional probability is defined in terms of joint defined divide by the probability of, of the condition we'll extend this to the conditional density function we have done this earlier so the conditional density function is related to the conditional uh, CDF by taking the derivative we can now also focus on um, point conditioning so in point conditioning uh, I will give you a specific value of Y and this Y should not equal to zero so we're looking at what is this the, the PDF of X given that Y is specific value in that case it will be very similar to the probability that we had earlier it will be the joint PDF divided by the PDF of the condition and uh, we call this the conditional um, the conditional PDF it's conditioned now on Y we have two random variables we're conditioning on one random variable so we can also do the same we can condition with respect to X okay but of course the denominator should not equal to zero so we start with the joint from the joint we can do point conditioning that's solving for for uh, for the PDF in a given X remember the example of weight and height what if I condition I say that I want students with GBA equal to three for example out of four so we are, we are fixing X and looking at Y we have the joint GBA and weight but if you want to condition now on a specific GBA or condition a specific weight of course uh, then we have the conditional or point conditioning why we call it point conditioning because we specify the exact value now uh, just to sum up to sum up things here we have the conditional PDF in X and Y they are given by the following expression they are written in terms of the joint divided by uh, the marginal PDF or the if you compare it with the probability it becomes straight forward now here is a an illustration of what I said just before um, what you see in the diagram at the top is the joint PDF it's a service it's a continuous example now we can condition on uh, on one specific value of X so we need to divide by some we need to normalize and this normalization will make sure that because now the the, the, the service PDF will become uh, one curve the, the red curve that you can see here and for this curve to be a valid PDF we have to divide by uh, a number by a quantity that's going to make this uh, sure equal this is equal to one and this is what we did in, in the equation we have represented the conditional in terms of the of the joint but we need now to divide, divide by us by the, con the marginal BDF to make sure that it's a valid BDF similarly we can condition on Y as you can see here with examples things become clear so again I'm recalling the, the two equations uh, if you want to marginal if you want to condition on a given point if you want to condition here or condition there then you need to readjust your two-dimensional uh, PDF or, by dividing by a quantity that's, make, that's going to make this a valid um, PDF uh, we'll leave the derivation for continuous point uh, continuous point conditioning as a self study for you so basically um, I would just give the general idea for point conditioning instead of taking one point we can start by taking uh, a range for Y between minus delta and plus delta and then we take the limit as this delta approaches zero so it becomes a point in space so uh, we'll start with the CDF the CDF over this condition conditioning over a small range and of course uh, we, we will condition on that small range so we'll, and here we have the joint CDF and here we have the condition uh, where we have the conditional probability 
this is just we're starting from the probability continuum. We started from the definition definition of the conditional probability. We're doing it with with the PDF here. Of course, if x and y are continuous, then of course um, conditioning over a, a one point will give you zero. And this is why we start by taking the limits because uh, things would cancel up. So as we take the limit, we'll see that these two two delta up and down are going to cancel out and we get rid of the issue of dividing by zero and we can also show that uh, we can show that the CDF and the PDF can be written in terms of the joint and the marginal as we did before. Now uh, let's take a discrete example at least to understand what what is conditional conditional PDF or conditional uh, or point conditioning. So uh, <clears throat> we, are, we are reproducing the, the example we had earlier where we have only three possible joint events and uh, x is given by uh, the following probabilities okay we are also given y with uh, with the given probabilities and now we want we can write the pdf we can write the cdf in terms of uh, sum of delta functions so that's something that we already know before and if you of course if you have a joint pdf it's going to be two deltas multiplied in the case of of uh, of two variables and now we're saying if we specify the value of uh, of y or x and uh, this probability that we specify should not equal to zero because otherwise we will not have a valid pdf everything would be just zero so let's say that i'm specifying over a given x y uh, what happens now let's say that if we specify a given y like y equal to one uh, we cannot just let me just use it here we cannot just take the, these values because and say that this is a new pdf we cannot just take this cross section because in that case the pdf will not be valid so we have to divide by the sum of these to make sure that the area equal to one and this is the division the division that we have to do here by point five so now we can also do the same for uh, for for the case of uh, y to get um, to get the PDF from here to here you can just differentiate and get the PDF so the unit step function becomes Delta and capital F becomes small f so there isn't much here other than just showing you that all values has to be adjusted to make it a valid PDF similarly if you do if you condition that y equal to th three then of course we have only one case and this has to be adjusted to to be divided by 0.5 it becomes one Uh, take another example find the conditional pdf probability density function uh, given that the joint is shown on the side and we want things to be uh, we're conditioning that we're given that we are told that y equal to three so you can you can see that we are here so this is four over five four, four over fifteen sorry and this guy is five over fifteen i cannot just say that the marginal is this it is x or sorry the conditional and this is uh, f of x x given that y equal to y3 i cannot just say x1 and x2 i cannot just take these values and put them because if i do so it's not going to be a valid pdf so what we have to do is just um, we will find the probability of y equal to 3 the probability of the condition which is the sum of these two which is equal to 9 over 15 and now everything has to be adjusted accordingly so we'll get here everything has to be divided by 9 over 15 this becomes 4 over 9 and this guy also becomes 5 over 9 now it becomes a valid pdf and their sum equals to 1 okay so this is what um, what we need to do so with this we are done with uh, we have we have good number of examples for the point conditioning the discrete case is the easiest to, to think about and to make things simple then of course you can extend to uh, the continuous examples now uh, to continue with conditional distribution and density function we can relate the cdf and the pdf of course we know that this the pdf the cdf is uh, the integral once you find one of them once you find the conditional pdf you can you can get this conditional cdf so we can always relate them to each other and we have seen this earlier that uh, we have to integrate to go to go from um, um, pdf to cdf 
if you want to integrate with respect to x if you want x then of course the denominator here is not function of y not function of x you can just integrate the joint function and divide by f of y example given the joint pdf okay find the marginal pdf of x and, and the conditional one of course finding the marginal is not difficult because we have seen this already by the way so we have we have done this example before so it's going to be u of x u e to power minus x you integrate over y and now if you want uh, the conditional it will be the joint which is this guy here divide by f of x so things will cancel out ux will cancel with u of x so this this when we divide this is going to cancel out okay part of the exponent is going to cancel and what remains is the following expression if you want to double check okay you can you can find the area of the new conditional pdf all pdfs are should be valid pdfs and of course uh, in general uh, here we have if you want to just to the condition will be the joint over the the marginal and of course the, if you integrate from minus infinity to infinity you, you're going to marginalize so this is a, a general check but you can also do the check here for this expression and share with uh, your answer with us it's, it should it should equal to one the check that we are doing here is generic for any kind of uh, conditional distribution now we can do uh, interval conditioning instead of doing um, point conditioning we can do interval conditioning and In interval conditioning um, we have a range of values so just to come up with a general formula uh, the cdf of x given that y takes a certain range i want the gbf from 3 to 3.5 or whatever we always go back we, we start with cdf because we can relate cdf to probability and we know how to find the conditional probability okay once we write we, once we write it in terms of probability we can write it in terms of pdf because it's going to be the integration over the given limits okay so remember that this integration is just to marginalize x because we don't have x here and I have the joint uh, pdf here so it's not about memorization you can write this in or in whatever way you want it's just to make sure that you understand the relation so uh, once we integrate here this becomes um, uh, a cdf and it's going to be the cdf for the joint cdf between y b and y a and we also divide by the marginal pdf so this expression would be handy if you are dealing with the cdf and for interval conditioning so far we have seen the point conditioning and now we are seeing the interval conditioning of course you can always get the pdf from uh, by differentiation of the of the cdf so you can take the derivative remember that whenever we have a denominator we should we should make sure that this denominator should not equal to zero okay so y should be a range of possible values that uh, possible values of the outcome otherwise uh, the probability will always be, be zero so we have two equations one for the cdf another one in terms of the pdf whatever proves to be easier for you can be used here of course it looks that the cdf does not have integration because the CDF already is integrated version of the PDF. An example for uh, example for interval conditioning and distribution and density. For, for for example, we can do the following. Given the the joint density function, find. Remember that we have a range here. What what does this equal to? Although we don't have the starting and the ending limit, but we can represent this in terms of range. For the same example we had earlier, because we already have the marginal PDFs for this example we can say that this is the joint pdf and i want to find uh, the range conditioning now the range here is, is simple if you like because f of uh, you can say from minus infinity to y from minus infinity will just give you zero so uh, so this is a special case of a range conditioning okay so i'm just recalling the function from the previous slide and it turns out to be uh, simple that the general case because we're starting from minus infinity up to y for this specific example we can substitute because we know the joint pdf we can take it here uh, we know also we know the, the we can also find 
the CDF from the denominator. Okay, so this is the PDF. If you integrate, it becomes the following expression. And that's only valid for a given range. Uh, now we can we can uh, do the denominator. I'm keeping the color to track. So this goes in the denominator. And this integration limit, this integration, which is, uh, this is going to give you uh, the numerator. And now we can divide in the next slide. Okay, so for, for the continuous example uh, interval, we continue with the example. Um, I'm just going to call the denominator and the numerator and divide them by each other, and I got the following expression. So this expression, uh, look long, we can write it in, in this in tears format, or we can also say that it's going to be, just to be correct, it's going to be this for y greater than zero. It should be zero otherwise, right? Otherwise, it's not perfect. Of course, it depends on what what is the value of y. What's the value of the? And we made it in general, but if you want to be, like if I give you a specific value for y equal to infinity, uh, the PDF will look like this curve for y equal to 10, for y equal to 1.1. The common thing is that all of them has an area equal to one because all of them have uh, have uh, y have a valid PDF. Of course, the case of y equal to infinity will give you the marginal PDF because if 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 we condition on y being less than infinity, as if we're marginalizing y, because y is always going to be less than infinity, and we get the marginal PDF, which proves our our uh, previous solution. So this was an example for interval conditioning. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the, the integration or the math could, could be complicated, but the idea here is just the concept, how we trace things and how we relate uh, what is the general formula for the point and the interval conditioning?